Butterflies, it's your girl Pam, and today I'm going to answer one of my subscribers' questions. So, stay tuned. Alright, Butterflies, this question was posted in my last video from Donna Galvin. Hey, Donna! <laughs> um, she asked me, was I going to teach my girls about debt? And, I, you know, I I realized that I had started teaching them, but I was teaching them because they were watching me. And it was so, it was so wonderful. <laughs> it was just really wonderful. It was wonderful that they were catching on. So I'm going to tell you how that happened. So Bree, of course, you know, she's going to be moving out in the next couple of months. And so she said, you know, I think I might need to start a budget. And I was like, well, you know what I love. And she said, okay. So she set up her own every dollar. She put in her expenses that she was thinking that she um, was going to have. Now, you always know they never really add all of the expenses in that we know as parents that we have to pay. Um, and so I helped her, you know, did you think about this? Did you think about that? Is this covered in your rent? That type of thing. So we got her income and her expenses. Um, she realized how tight it might be. With all four of them together, they'll be fine. Um, so she did her every budget. Janae, oh my gosh, I was just so proud of her. Janae came into some money. As you guys know, about two weeks ago, I did a yard sale. I got about $500, somewhere in there, but it shipped right on out to Ashley Stewart and to pay off that debt and take my debt um, down. So she sold a computer. She got $100 for the computer and she found a $100 bill. Later that day, same day, 12-year-old didn't have a dime to a name, you know, that morning and had $200 that afternoon. There was nobody around that we could ask if, um, you know, it was their $100 bill. So I told her, I said, that's fine. Now, with a clear understanding, if it was somebody that it could have belonged to, then we at least needed to ask. But she was kind enough to say, Mommy, you know what? I want to help pay off your interest <laughs> for the month for Ashley. And I was like, no, you don't have to. And she was like, yeah, I want to pay off the interest. And so my interest payment was about $30. And um, so she gave me the $30. I let her go online to Ashley Stewart um, and make the payment. And so I was so proud of her and so thankful that she uh, was nice enough to me. So therefore the $500 that I made for the yard sale that went directly to principal and not taking that 30, I guess it would have been 470 that would have gone to principal, um, versus, you know, the entire 500. So that was really, really nice of her. So on to Kiki. <laughs> Kiki has not gotten on board as much as everybody else. And it's okay. Um, if you guys have seen the video yet, or you will see, Kiana moved out. And so, you know, the expenses of adulthood is coming up upon her. And so I'm sure she'll come and ask for some help. And of course, I will uh, refer her to either doing a spreadsheet or doing every dollar, whichever one is easier for her. I think she's more of an app person, so every dollar will probably help her. So, I don't know. But, so proud of my girls. I am wanting them to understand um, that you don't have to be in debt. You don't have to stay in debt if you're already in debt. Um, that financial freedom is an option. Um, regardless of your circumstance. And I want them to know the value of a dollar. Um, and that sliding a credit card is not the value of, the, of a dollar. It is not the um, essence of what your net worth is. It is not a credit score. It is none of those things. Um, and so I am trying to instill those and really deprogram them because, you know, I was the one that introduced them to credit. 
So now I'm trying to go back and undo what I've already done as far as credit is concerned with them. And so I will help them step by step as I'm going to um, get their credit back on target. Um, and not necessarily their credit. Um, I'm not as concerned as that. I want them to be responsible and pay the creditors that they owe um, and get out of it as quickly as possible. I don't. I want them to understand that paying cash has so much more value, um, and not being um, under that that chokehold of owing someone. I don't want my children to to feel like they have to have a creditor, um, which is totally against what I've already taught them. And so, like I said, I'm having to deprogram them. So. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on how that works and um, we'll go from there. If you have not subscribed, please do so. If you're new, welcome to all of my other butterflies. I love you so much. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so every time that I upload a video, you are notified. And make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, butterflies, love you.